Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome to the Bretonia DLC. Grave Assembly has been kind enough to offer me a code, and I very gladly accept it. And today we are going to do... This is going to be very much a teaser, teaser because I plan on streaming it later today. I think actually, let's see, this will... Uh, this is out once the embargo lifts, so about probably 10.30 or 11 o'clock... I will hopefully be streaming this for hopefully a couple of hours, so I wanted to give you a little bit of a teaser to really suck you in and then make you want to watch the live stream. So we are again playing the King or the faction of Bordelow out of Bretonia, Bordelow, and Carcassonne. Bordelow's stern, ultra chivalrous Duke Alaric rules coastal Bordelow, a place of rolling hills and sweeping valleys flanked by vineyards and farmsteads, famed for its sea trade, fine wines, and extremely well drilled knightly class. Alberic is amongst the great greatest knights Bretonia has ever known, often fighting alongside King Luan to smite evil in the lady's name. So we get chivalry. Chivalry is going to be a really cool um, aspect that I'm really looking forward to, as well as the peasant economy. So chivalry, through their noble actions, the Bretonian dukes will benefit from powerful bonuses. Peasant economy, farm or fight. Peasants form Bretonia's financial and military backbone. And then equestrian-based unit roster with a host of fast-moving skirmisher cab and heavily armored shock cab. Now, if you guys have ever been on my channel before this, you'll know that I love cav. I'm not the best at using them, but I absolutely love cavs. So the fact that Bretonia is primarily uh, cav-based is going to be really good for me because I prefer that than hand-to-hand -hand combat with a whole bunch of melee units. The initial challenge is normal, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue. Faction my leader. My precedes me. Yes, indeed it does. Alberic de Bordelot. He is the Duke of Bordelot. He is a powerful melee fighter. Has the powerful ability, the Wrath of Manon. I'm assuming that's how you say it. Lord effects. He starts with the Knight's Vow unlocked, which is pretty cool. Income from trade plus 5% to trade agreement tariffs, which will probably stack in time. We won't see a huge buff from that initially. Uh, and then unit experience plus 2 for Bretonian Knight recruits for all the characters. So that's a really, really good one. I mean, we start out with rank 2 Bretonian Knights is going to be really helpful and I'm sure there's even some buffs that will stack it depending on what kind of buildings we use that will give us even more so the ability to start out with just rank 2 but potentially rank 3 or 4 in the early game depending on how well we do is really going to give us that edge using our cav with additional starting units we get foot squires they are a great sword infantry armor piercing anti-infantry and damage dealers the Knights of the Realm, they are a shock cab. They are armored and shielded with anti-large capabilities. And then the Knights Errant shock cab, armored and shielded with anti-infantry. These guys are going to be pretty stinking cool. Very excited. We're going to play on very hard difficulty. Let's jump right in. Does war visit fair Britonia this day? It is no longer enough for the Dukes to sit idle. It is time for the flower of Britonia to unfurl and reveal its thorns. I come to his court with a wealth of knowledge that will aid this errantry war. Like the Grail companions of old, the Dukedoms of Bretonia will unite under the banner of their king. I'm more excited, I think, for Bretonia than any of the other factions so far, simply because they have the they are the medieval faction of the game, and I'm still longing for a medieval game of Total War, so this is gonna get us pretty daggum close. So I'm very excited to be playing as them, and I really hope I don't screw it up. Load faster.
Hail, Almeric, Duke of Bordelow. The salty sea air is a bracing reprieve from the cloying inland darkness that now threatens the coast. Directly north, the damned city of Musilon spits out dark forces that you must deal with. Bretonia may ignore this blight, but you cannot. King Leonca resides at Curon, but is beset by the greenskin threat from the nearby mountains. You are expected to aid the crown, but ultimately it is your choice alone. The merchant princes of Marienburg have no love for Bretonia. They are more concerned with the accumulation of wealth. Gluttons, yes, but perhaps useful. The mountains teem with greenskins and dwarfs, constantly warring with one another. Should they descend from their peaks into Britonia, conflict will surely follow. A storm is brewing about Britonia, my lord, with a ferocity that Bordello cannot avoid. You may not be king, Alberic, but Manan watches over you. Use his thalassic strength to defend Bordello and wash your enemies away. All right. My lord, the dukes of Britonia have resided under a chivalrous code for many years. Honor this tradition, build upon the great foundations of Gilles Le Breton, and lead the knightly orders forward to glory. Indeed I shall. Okay, so chapter objective issued. Objectives attain 400 chivalry. Basically, I think, like, you don't do stuff to human factions that you would to other factions, like kill... Um, people and things like that, you'd release the prisoners, etc., etc., and that gains you chivalry, whereas if you kill and murder the vampires, the greenskins, things like that, that will increase chivalry, plus I'm sure we'll get some quest things to do, but as you can see, if we get to 400 knightly, uh, if we get to 400 chivalry, we get, we can call upon the green knight, leadership plus six in all armies, lord recruitment rank, and then unit experience plus two for Bretonian knight recruits, so that means if we were to get to 400 chivalry, Unit experience is rank 4 for Bretonian Knights right off the bat. That's going to be really, really crucial. All right, honor and chivalry are the driving forces for the Bretonians. They call it errantry. Call an errantry war in their defense. Chivalry is increased, here we go, through noble actions and heroic victories and lost through dishonorable deeds. Your current chivalry level can, be, level can be seen on the campaign interface. There is no greater benefit of chivalry than the assistance of the Green Knight down here. The legendary hero can be called upon in times of need to destroy those who oppose you. Peasants form the backbone of your army and economy, so be wary of using your surplus by enlisting too many. Conquering new regions increases your surplus, enabling you to find more peasants in your armies without suffering a penalty to your farming economy buildings. Your current peasant economy surplus can be seen on the campaign interface. So this is really cool. I think that's, I mean, that's the closest thing we've seen to manpower in this game. And I really, really like it. All right, so let's take uh, let's take a look at our diplomacy map real quick. As you can see, we are really not. I mean, not in that good of a place. No one likes us, but Stone may Welcome be the best one. Okay, so we have at least one slight ally, but they aren't going to want to do anything with us yet. And plus, that wouldn't really give us a whole lot. Bretonia is okay with us. Uh, nothing too bad. Carcassonne is okay it's improving paravon isn't that great and aside from that we have um musulon and they hate us we're at war with them at right now actually protector of the realm uh so we did that let's go ahead and look at our research so of course there are two research uh branches there's the economy and as well as the chivalric side so we're going to start with the chivalric code because it gives us chivalry for one and then leadership for lords and embedded heroes and then armor for lords and embedded heroes i think that's really really good as well we do have a hero, Tristan, Tristan Le Beau. If you guys have names for these guys, I would love to hear them, and I will definitely consider them. Do you know um, who I am? So yeah, that would be really cool. Uh, let's go ahead and move our forces. First, let's see, we're at minus seven. Okay, that's hey, good. My armor. Let's go ahead and get out of the sea. And what do we have? We have out of the Bolo. We have some foot squires, some peasant mobs, spearmen at arms, some peasant bowmen, four knights of the realm, and then one knight's errant. That is awesome. Um, I'm going to pump into some peasant bowmen. Some. As you can see. Okay. Yeah. 
They're not that great. The units are not that great. They all have very poor leadership. And this has good range, but poor accuracy. So I think having four of those guys would be pretty good. And we could get a couple of minute arms. They're pretty cheap. So we'll do that. That'll give us four units. That's as much as we can get. Uh, let's you. go over here. Can we assassinate? Negative outcome. Let's assault Destroy the units. The we have a better chance at that. And that might give us some Assa. experience. Okay. Maybe not. All right. So we only have two regions. We have Bordelo and we have Aquitaine. In Bordelo, we have quite a few buildings. We have a huge amount of buildings available to us. Now, I don't quite remember what the um, other empire, what the empire's like, or the dwarves, because it's been a long time since I've done a campaign for them, but this feels like a lot of buildings to choose from. So, for instance, we could get more so valley orchards, borderlow winemaking. That would be a good thing to do. Now, admittedly, we don't get that. We only get that in this region, so that would definitely be something to look into. We have to extract any buildings. Let's see. Why can't I build? Oh, we need we need growth. That's what it is. So right now, the only thing we can do is we can upgrade our training field. Now, the only thing, <laughs> we don't want to do that because we don't have the ability to get a smithy, which is required for minute arms and for spear minute arms. And we can't buy that, and we don't have uh, the slot unlocked. So we're going to have to wait for growth. So I'm really not going to pump into this at all. There's no use. There's really no use. Instead, no. we're just going to get some more men, and we are going to see if we can't take Musalon and get rid of them super fast, because that is one thing that I really want to do, because to get that menace out of there, it's one less thing we have to worry about. We can issue an edict. I forgot about edicts. We can venerate the lady. Control plus 10 reduction in vampiric and corruption. Chaos corruption. Construction costs reduction in research rate. Tax rate. Recruitment, local recruitment capacity, that's pretty good. Or growth. Um, I'm going to go for growth. Because we really want to build up. We really want to build up quickly. And the only way to do that is to get some pretty good growth going on. The next turn I will embed my hero before I attack uh, Musalon. Or they're going to come. Oh, they're going to go over there. Okay. Peasant economy. Green and peasant land. Green skin and unpleasant land. Your people live in fear for f evil stalks fair Bretonia. The green skins that infest the mountains and forests harass and raid the surrounding villages with ever greater violence. Now they mass in the hills. The people fear a great incursion. Control is decreasing across the land as a result. Hold out if you think the kingdom if you think the kingdom robust enough in the hope that they tire and skulk back to their hideouts or lead a force to destroy their settlements in their attacks and wipe them out for good. Okay, so that's minus 20. Minus 20 control in all provinces. That's public order. Uh, so let's go out. Let's see, what is Bordelow? They've got an okay. But we're going to go ahead and go after Lucilon. To victory. Oh. Okay, so we need some siege towers in Stuff. And they've got some good units there. Ouch. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. We'll Let's continue the siege. We Mighty need to go warrior. and find... There he is. You're overruled. Honor and glory. Um, I'm actually going to embed him. I shall share we can see where friend. he is, so that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, I can't afford another legendary lord. I could. Wouldn't really do a lot for me right now. Alright, so there's not much we can do. Let's go ahead and hit that in turn. Let's see if uh, Musulon comes out and attacks me. If they do, that would be preferable. Because then we can fight it on a battlefield instead of fighting those towers. Now, that'll still be a pretty nasty fight, but we'll be out in the open and we can really use our knights. That's really what I wanted to happen. Plus, their allies will come in later, so I'll have a chance to wreck the initial guys first. Sounds brilliant, if we can get away with it.
And after this battle, we will end the episode as well. Because uh, I want to at least have something to surprise you guys with for the uh, live stream. Or to look forward with. Go ahead and get those guys. We're going to split up our cav. Actually, we need to get that hill. Put peasant mob up front. They do have a ton of units. We're going to drop him in between those guys. Um, I forgot that you don't have to hit control G. They're all unlocked, and I don't want them unlocked. We also have some spearmen at arms, which I'll use as kind of a flanking troop. We have Tristan. He is a melee specialist, so we'll put him in the front lines. And then, of course, we have... Let's go ahead and get a look at him. Albrecht de Bordelot. He does not have a mount yet. He is brand spanking new. Say, what's up, dude? What's up, ma'am? How you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Sweet. Okay. So, they will come there first. They will hopefully not... They're pretty slow moving. So, that's what I'm going to try to use to my advantage. Is kind of take out this initial force first. And then we'll see just what we're up against. Uh, let's start the battle. Start firing as soon as you can. Zombies! Bats! Take out the bats! Cut down the bats! Oh man, those dire wolves are fast! Cut them down! Lord is under attack! So that's the first thing they did, they just went straight for my lord, it's slightly rude. But that's all right. Let's go ahead and crash into them. The Red Duke. Run into the zombies. Run into the zombies, Knights Errant. Come over here. I'm like yelling. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be screaming and yelling like that, but we were going ahead and we are dissolving them. That was pretty good. All right, so we got Black Knights in the back. We need to be prepared for that. Let's go ahead and get our spears over there. Um, Bowman, reform right here. We are doing some pretty good damage. What is this? 22% weapon damage, armor piercing damage. Let's just get him out of that battle because we are about to have to face those guys. They do have some black knights. I'm kind of legitimately terrified of the black knights. Let's get the Knights Errant out as well. That army just dissolved. Perfect. Take out the Felbats. Come on, let's take them down. We're going to go ahead and just bring our Spearmen and try and block those Black Knights from hitting us even harder. Come on, boys. Let's get in here. Move in over here. We've got our... This will be pretty intense. Oh, good lord. I forgot they had Vargeists. We have two more units over here. Get them caught. Move out. Okay, we need to reform. Let's get our peasants. Minute arms. And then we will flank with these guys. Bowmen. Go after the Vargeists. Uh, these. Let's get those Cryptors. Let's go after the Cryptors. Or I guess we'll go after these guys. Whatever. Archers, I! Let's go ahead and use Heroic Killing Blow. Attack! 
Melee specialist, you're going to tie these guys up. Orders. Let's go after the zombies. We need something else. We are ripping those VAR guys to shreds. Thank goodness. Peasants. Peasant mob. Uh, let's actually get uh, this guy going after the crypt horrors. They are routing our guys awfully bad. Oh no, that's Grave Guard. Get out of there, Grave. I don't want Grave Guard. We are we are losing our men. I wish I could select them. Let's get after the Grave Guard. Get out of there. You're gonna get wrecked. Uh, do I have any more of my cav? Where are my all my cav? They're taking on those black knights right now. Let's go after those crypt ghouls. Which apparently they're not good at fighting against. Let's get the crypt horrors. What is oh I didn't notice this. There we go. They all have that power. Okay. Well, that's very nice. Come back. Leon Leonke. Oh, he's fighting the general. Where's Daisy? Let's go after the Var guys instead. He's holding out pretty well. He did his job. Don't route just yet. Get out of there, dude. Get out of there. Get out of there. Our men have come back. Go after them. There we go. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. Run away. Your warriors flee. This guy has like taken no damage whatsoever. He's a beast. All right. Shoot! Shoot at the. Go after those zombies. This is gonna be. This is gonna be a really, really uh, tough faction to play, as I can tell. Can't believe we're having such a hard time fighting those zombies. That's all right. We're wrecking those crypt horrors. We got our peasant mob to come back. What else we got? Who are these? Okay. I don't know why you're way over there. We haven't... Oh, we lost our knights errant. There we go. That was a good charge. Get wrecked. All right, uh, let's get. Uh, we are we are slightly winning. We're getting wrecked, but we're winning. Oh, grave guard! Screw that! Let's get our bowmen. Go after the grave guard. There we go. Get out of there, boys. There we go. Make them wreck. Wreck them all. Making them dissolve. Sweet. Kill them all. Brilliant. That was a terrible battle. I'm telling you guys, I'm not the best at this game. We only we did lose over half of our men, but I guess we did take on and destroy Musulon. I mean, that's really not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. Let's see, how did we do? Knights did really well. Very, very well. Those guys didn't really do bad either. Both of my both my hero and my general. Um, <laughs> Aldrich is not that great. 
much did we get from looting? Awesome. Uh, we will occupy it. I know we'll suffer some uh, issues, especially with, yeah, with, um, whew, yeah, that's bad. Honestly, I probably should have just left it to die. But we did gain some a little bit of income from there. And we do get massive, I do have the increased recruitment uh, mod on, so, or replenishment, so that will help us a lot. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and level him up just real quick. What should we do? He starts with Knight's Vow. We can get him Blade Master, a Route Marcher, or Inspiring Presence. Um, he doesn't get a Barded Warhorse until rank 6. We're going to give him a Route Marcher. No, I'm not. Um, I'm going to do a Blade Master. There we go. Alright guys, well that is the end of the first episode of Bordello. As I said, I will be streaming this today, so if you guys want to come in and join, that would be absolutely fantastic. And it will be on hosting on both Twitch and YouTube, so it doesn't matter where you go, just come and watch. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Be on the lookout for the live stream. Uh, I'll put something up on my Twitter, so please follow my Twitter for exact timing. Otherwise, this is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!